And I realize I come to I I I come to realize with my um whole like heritage and shit, like I was told I was told okay, I I I was told that I have I am half black half uh, Italian, and I I'm trying to like reach into that more Italian heritage a little bit more because holy shit. I I, I I might as well, right? Like, oh my god, it's pretty cool. I'm like two things at once. It's kind of interesting how I got here. So I, I tried to make my voice a little bit more Italian, I guess. Like, I tried to make it more comfortably Italian, like I am now. I'm not sure if I heard the change. But I tried to make it more, a little bit more Italian so I can feel more like comfortable I guess around y'all so y'all y'all know if my voice randomly changes when y'all watch me um if y'all watch me doing my uh like vods or something on um youtube it's it, it's uh it's gonna be interesting and <laughs> y'all know why now because my heritage is kind of like um Italian and black like I said and I'm not gonna lie, it's it's a bit hard to like make my voice like this because you know it's more it's more in the tongue than anything. Like it's I've been using my tongue a whole lot more. I've been over uh, <laughs> I've been using it's like it's more like if I stop using my tongue right now, it's kinda hard to do it. But if I like move my tongue a lot on it, I let the, I have to do it a lot. I'm like about the back me to the best thing 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 to the I don't know. It's not only is it easier to do my accent, but it's a little bit more difficult to like do my normal American accent, I guess. I mean yeah, I was born and raised in America, but I was born and raised in America. I'm born and raised in America. Why do I say America like that? Are the Italian people say America like that? What the fuck? Anyway, <laughs> I was born and raised in America, but it's um, it's a uh, it's a bit hard to like do my heritage because I want to I want to give it all of that got you know I want to I want to I want to do that. Hell yeah. Low key, low key, okay? I've been practicing this voice for a very long time. It's been like two years. <laughs> it's been a whole like two years now. Three, I guess now? I think it's been only two, technically. No, it's been three. Yeah, it's been three. Because I did this voice back when I met an old friend of mine and I was just like, okay, let me, let me get into my Italian heritage real quick and let me, um, let me, um, do this. Let me let me talk differently. Like that this has been the time where I was mute. This is this is the time where I was mute and um I was very scared to like talk to people. So I was like, oh shit, okay, let me try a different voice. And uh, cause I don't want people to know my real voice. So let me do this. Let me do my Italian accent and I did it and it worked. And now I can talk to anybody I want to on VR chat because come to find out, I'm not introverted. I'm very extroverted, but living an introvert life, you know? <laughs> it's kinda crazy. It's kinda crazy how life kinda do that to you. And you know, I, I, I like it. I, I kind of like how it turned out because now I can talk to people. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, maybe I'll make this my like new main avatar because it kind of does look like, um, it kind of does look like a uh, puppy, you know, my VTuber. If y'all know puppy, if y'all if y'all see my other bots down there, I, I'm gonna I'm make this to a bot, but if y'all know my other bots down there and then like, y'all see like, um, Y'all, y'all see uh, Puppy, the light-skinned girl with the little pigtails or whatever they're called. I, I guess she kind of looks like her. I don't know. I, I tried my best, but yeah, maybe I can make this into a puppy. I mean, into a puppy. Look, okay. Let me, let me, um, let me clarify real quick. Let me clarify because I don't want people to get confused. Puppy is just named Puppy. She's not an actual puppy. She's a full-grown adult, like wolf. She's a full-grown adult wolf person. It's just... She she has like... She just... The only thing that's on her is like her puppy tail and her teeth, alright? She doesn't have puppy ears, sadly. But maybe in the future she will. I don't know. I guess... I guess I'll try... I, I'll make something for her to like... Oh, she can pop them on. 
The, the, her ears are supposed to be like her pigtails so they can like pop on. But when she's like in public, she can like make them in the pigtails so she can like pop them back off. Like her ears, her puppy ears. I don't know, maybe I'll do something like that. That sounds cool actually. <laughs> See, I'm making my character. I'm making my character with y'all. It's kind of interesting. I like it. Because I remember last stream. I was like, oh shit, we can do this, we can do that, that's pretty fucking cool, Because ah. <laughs> now I'm realizing, Puppy is his own character, and it's not me. I gotta make my own character. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe this is my own character, maybe maybe it's something else different in the future. We're not, I don't know, we'll, we'll see in the future, we'll see when we get there. <laughs> Inhale through the nose and exhale with the mouth, that's the best way for spreading. That's what I heard too. That's what I really heard too. But personally, <laughs> I breathe through, I breathe in and out of my nose when I'm sprinting. And if I feel like it's too much in my body, I'm just like, okay, I gotta, I gotta let out more air. I'm just breathing out of my nose. I mean, out of my mouth. And then when I catch my breath, I start breathing through my nose again. It's like it's like I'm training while I'm sprinting at the same time, you know what I mean? I don't know if that means I'm a masochist or anything, but like... <laughs> but like, I don't know, I like li I like breaking my limits, honestly. That is, that is also a thing that I've said a lot. That is a thing that I've said a lot. In very different way. If y'all get what I mean. But, but I do like breaking my limits. Even when it comes to like breathing or <laughs> you know, <laughs> I like breaking my limits. Why are we discriminating on how people breathe? I'm not discriminating. I'm just like telling you, I'm like this is this is the alpha way to like breathe. <laughs> if you're if you're not breathing like this, then you're a beta. You're awfully beta, and you shouldn't. You shouldn't be right here right now. What are you doing? Get out of here. <laughs> if you breathe a certain way and you're not exercising, then then do your thing. But if you want to be a sprinter, then oh boy. If you if you want to learn how to fucking run and have your stamina up, oh boy. <laughs> Man, there's so many games that I have, bro. I don't even want to look through all this shit. I'm not, I'm not gonna look through all this. Let me see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I don't have it downloaded, obviously, because I don't want to get burned out by it. But I, I don't. I just can't. Like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna release a game, release it fully or don't release it yet. That's that's my statement on that. Because I can keep playing a game that keeps getting updates, like. Let me, let me rant about Sons of the Forest real quick, alright? Sons of the Forest is a fun game when it first came out, alright? It was very fun, very fun. I did everything that I did. I completed everything I wanted. Beat Banger! Beat Banger is also one. Like, don't release it until it's completely finished. And I understand they want to get, like, that money and that, um, that, um, community, like, acknowledgement. Like, oh, is this game worth it? Is it, is it, um, is it okay? Are we doing a good thing? Like... Put out a demo, bro, like, <laughs> instead of releasing the whole game, like, give us a demo so we can see it and we can, like, review it and stuff like that. You don't have to release the whole game, like, wait, do your thing, put all the creatures in the game, and in Sons of the Forest case, like, we have brick buildings now, not brick buildings, we have stone buildings now, and we didn't have that when the game first released, and... I would have did a lot with the stone buildings if it was on release, but no, now I gotta wait until the game is fully released to play it again. And y'all see more like videos from me of Sons of the Forest when the game is just like, oh shit, okay, we're done updating the game, now we, you can play it or something like that, and I'ma play it, okay? Because now I don't get burned out, because every time one update comes out, like, oh shit, we got motorcycles, oh shit, we got fucking a new thing you can do, oh shit, this, you can get dogs now, there's no dogs in the game, but it's, it's just too much and too little, alright? Animal Crossing did it right. Animal Crossing does it with seasons, all right? And that, that makes sense. Every season is a new thing. And I like that because, oh my God, Christmas. Oh my God, uh, uh, Patrick's Day. Oh my God, um, or St. Patrick's Day. Uh, uh, Halloween, you know, it makes sense because it's like real life, like, 
it's just better. <laughs> like, at least you know when it's gonna come because it's like, oh yeah, it's it's on this date, on this date, on this date. But with Sons of the Forest, they just keep updating the fucking game until they get tired of it, you know? Like, it's ridiculous. Like, even with, um... Even with uh, Baldur's Gate, they do that right too because they already completed the whole game. They have the whole game there. It's just they're updating like little shit. Like, oh shit, they made the cat have like okay, the bald cat have hair. Oh no, we don't want that. Let it hit, let it be bald again because apparently that was a glitch in the coding at one point, as far as I know. And it, it's cool, and I like that. I hate waiting around for the full game to come out, even though the full game is technically is technically out. But that's Wolfie's rant. rant uh, Wolfie's rant. <laughs> yeah, I will definitely see y'all next time. We're gonna get a good schedule in, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make it big. All right, the lazy pack will make it big. All right, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, it's gonna happen. And even and even if we're like mediocre, man, we we still got each other, man. Like, oh my goodness, even even y'all, even y'all, even little chat over here. <laughs> I still love y'all a lot, and y'all still make me feel like I'm on top of the world every single day. And I appreciate y'all so much. And yeah, I'll see y'all later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. See y'all later. Pew pew pew. <laughs> bye. <laughs>